Several hypothetical extinct species of macaws have been postulated based on little evidence, and they may have been subspecies, or familiar parrots, that were imported onto an island, and later wrongly presumed to have a separate identity. The Lesser Antillean Macaw or Guadeloupe Macaw is a hypothetical extinct species of macaw that is thought to have been endemic to the Lesser Antillean Island region of Guadeloupe. In spite of the absence of conserved specimens, many details about the Lesser Antillean Macaw are known from several contemporary accounts, and the bird is the subject of some illustrations. Austin Hobart Clark described the species on the basis of these accounts in 1905. Due to the lack of physical remains, and the possibility that sightings were of macaws from the South American mainland, doubts have been raised about the existence of this species. A phalanx bone from the island of Marie Galante confirmed the existence of a similar-sized macaw inhabiting the region prior to the arrival of humans, and was correlated with the Lesser Antillean macaw in 2015. Later that year, historical sources distinguishing between the red macaws of Guadeloupe and the scarlet macaw of the mainland were identified, further supporting its validity. According to contemporary descriptions, the body of the Lesser Antillean macaw was red, and the wings were red, blue and yellow. The tail feathers were between 38 and 51 centimeters long. Apart from the smaller size and the all-red coloration of the tail feathers, it resembled the scarlet macaw and may therefore have been a close relative of that species. The bird ate fruit, including the poisonous manchineal, was monogamous, nested in trees and laid two eggs once or twice a year. Early writers described it as being abundant in Guadeloupe, but it was becoming rare by 1760, and only survived in uninhabited areas. Disease and hunting by humans are thought to have eradicated it shortly afterward. The Lesser Antillian Islands. Many of these species are now considered dubious because only three are known from physical remains and there are no extant endemic macaws on the islands today. In 1905, the British banker and zoologist Walter Rothschild named an otter Hinchus papyrusans, based on an old description of a deep violet parrot seen on Guadeloupe, found in an 1838 publication by Don de Navret. He interpreted it as an extinct otter Hinchus macaw, due to its entirely blue coloration, and said the native Caribs called it Onikali. Greenway suggested this mythical macaw may have been based on a careless description of the Guadeloupe Amazon, or possibly an imported Lear's macaw, an Odohinchus leary, from South America. He was unable to check the reference given by Rothschild, but suggested it may have been a publication by the Spanish historian Martin Fernandez de Navarrete. In 2000, the English writer Errol Fuller suggested the bird may have been an imported hyacinth macaw, an Odohinchus hyacinthinus. In 2001, Williams and Stegman were also unable to find the reference listed by Rothschild and concluded that the supposed species required further corroboration. The biologists James W. Wiley and Guy M. Kerwin were also unable to find the reference to the violet macaw in 2013, but pointed out an account by the Italian historian Peter Marta Daniera who described how the Spanish took parrots that were mainly purple from Guadeloupe during the second voyage of Christopher Columbus. In 2015, Lenable reviewed overlooked historical Spanish and French texts and identified the sources on which Rothschild had based the violet macaw. An 1828 publication by de Navarrete mentioned parrots on Guadeloupe during the second voyage of Columbus, but did not state their color or include the term on a Lenable instead pointed to a Carib French dictionary by the French missionary Raymond Breton, who was on Guadeloupe from 1635 to 1654, which included terms for parrots, and the passage on Ecole is the Guadeloupe variety, which differs from the others being larger and violet, with red-lined wings. Lenable concluded that this refer to the Guadeloupe Amazon, since Breton appears to have reserved the word parrot for birds smaller than macaws, and due to the consistent plumage pattern mentioned. 
Venable recognized all the elements of Rothschild's description in Breton's text, but suggested that Rothschild must have relied on a secondary source, since he spelled the name differently. This source appears to have been a footnote in an 1866 article, which quoted Breton, but gave an incorrect citation. It used a francised version of the bird's name, Onikaomi, and implied it could have been a mackerel. Lenable therefore concluded that the supposed violet mackerel was based on misidentified references to the Guadeloupe Amazon, and that the lesser Antillean mackerel was the only mackerel species that lived on Guadeloupe. The Dominican green and yellow mackerel, Atwood's mackerel or Dominican mackerel, is an extinct species of mackerel that may have lived on the island of Dominica. It is known only through the writings of British colonial judge Thomas Atwood in his 1791 book, The History of the Island of Dominica. The mackerel is of the parrot kind, but larger than the common parrot, and makes a more disagreeable, harsh noise. They are in great plenty, as are also parrots in this island, have both of them a delightful green and yellow plumage, with a scarlet-colored fleshy substance from the ears to the root of the bill, of which color is likewise the chief feathers of their wings and tails. They breed on the tops of the highest trees, where they feed on the berries in great numbers together, and are easily discovered by their loud chattering noise, which at a distance resembles human voices. The mackerels cannot be taught to articulate words, but the parrots of this country may, by taking pains with them when caught young. The flesh of both is eat, but being very very fat, it wastes in roasting, and eats dry and insipid, for which reason, they are chiefly used to make soup of, which is accounted very nutritive. Austin Hobart Clark initially included these mackerels and araguadelapensis in 1905, but upon being referred to Atwood's writings, he listed them as a distinct species in 1908. As no archaeological remains are known, it is widely considered a hypothetical extinct species. Atwood described a bird which was commonly captured for food and pets. The Dominican mackerel probably became extinct in the late 18th or early 19th century. The red-headed mackerel or Jamaican green and yellow mackerel was a species of parrot in the family Cetacidae that lived in Jamaica, but its existence is hypothetical. Head red, neck shoulders and underparts of a light and lively green, the greater wing coverts and quills blue, and the tail scarlet and blue on the upper surface, with the under plumage, both of wings and tail, a mass of intense orange yellow. The specimen here described was procured in the mountains of Trelawney and St. Anne's by Mr. White, proprietor of the Oxford estate. It could have been found in the mountains of Trelawney and St. Anne's parishes, Jamaica. It was described to have been found in the mountains, and presumably in forest as well. The Jamaican red mackerel is a hypothetical species of parrot in the family Cetacidae that lived on Jamaica. The only reported specimen was shot on Jamaica around 1765, and was later seen by a Dr. Robertson when it was stuffed. The specimen has since been lost. Robertson sent a description of it to Philip Henry Gorse, who published his own description in 1847. Robertson stated the bird had never been seen or figured before, and that it was very different from any mackerel he had ever seen. One 1765 illustration is thought to depict this bird, but has also been suggested to be an imported Cuban mackerel. The parrot was considered identical to the Cuban mackerel by some 19th century naturalists, but was given its own binomial by Rothschild in 1905. The Martinique mackerel or orange-bellied mackerel is a hypothetical extinct species of mackerel which may have been endemic to the Lesser Antillean island of Martinique, in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. It was scientifically named by Walter Rothschild in 1905, based on a 1630s description of blue and orange-yellow mackerels by Jacques Boughton. No other evidence of its existence is known, but it may have been identified in contemporary artwork. Some writers have suggested that the birds observed were actually blue and yellow mackerels. The red-tailed blue and yellow mackerel, 
another species named by Rothschild in 1907 based on a 1658 account, is thought to be identical to the Martinique Macor, if either has ever existed. The Martinique Macor is one of 13 extinct Macor species that have been proposed to have lived in the Caribbean islands. Many of these species are now considered dubious because only three are known from physical remains, and there are no extant endemic macaws on the islands today. Macaws were frequently transported between the Caribbean islands and the South American mainland in both prehistoric and historic times, so it is impossible to know whether contemporaneous reports refer to imported or native species. If you like our video, hit the like button and subscribe for more such updates. Happy birding!